Healthy Grocery Girl. Today I'm sharing with you one of my favorite types of videos and that is a look inside my refrigerator. If you're new, welcome. My name is Megan and I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist, the founder of Healthy Grocery Girl, mom of two, and here on our channel we love to share plant-focused recipes and tips to live a healthy lifestyle. I love taking a peek inside people's refrigerators so much that when I started my business, Healthy Grocery Girl, over 11 years ago, this is before blogging and Instagram and YouTube was a big thing, one of the services I provided was a healthy kitchen makeover where I would come to your home and I would clean and organize your refrigerator. I would go in with a Q-tip and clean every little um, crack and every little spot in the bins, make sure there were no crumbs, and then we would go to the grocery store and I would help you shop for healthy staples to support your nutrition and wellness needs. While I do not provide that service anymore, I still love a good fridge tour. So let's get started. Here's our fridge, ta-da! So first I'm going to share with you some items that we meal prep every week. Um, first is soup. We always make a big batch of soup. This is our gut healthy soup, which the recipe is on our blog. Sometimes I adapt it a little bit. This soup this week has some quinoa and some white beans. So this will be healthy lunches for the week. And then every week we also make a batch of our toddler spinach muffins, which the kids absolutely love. And um, this recipe is also on the blog. I'm, I will link it below in the video description box. So I also like to prep something else for the week usually, um, whether it's some brown rice or some quinoa, or this week we uh, made a big batch of this chickpea of the sea mash. Um, this version has chickpeas and bell pepper and green onion and cilantro um, and some curry powder and mixed with some mustard. It's really good just with crackers um, as a snack, but I also like to add it into a tortilla, whether an almond flour tortilla or a brown rice tortilla. It makes a really great, quick, easy, healthy lunch. So we also have lots of vegetables um, for meals throughout the week. We go through a lot of broccoli. I would say my kids, the two vegetables that they eat the most is broccoli. We, we usually saute it. Um, the kids also love cucumber. We go through a lot of cucumber. So broccoli and cucumber are my kids' favorites. Um, my son also really loves bell pepper. He loves orange bell pepper. He'll just snack on it. And then sometimes the kids will also um, enjoy some carrots. But if you have kids, you know that one day they love a food and then the next day they want nothing to do with it. So sometimes they'll eat carrots as well. Um, but then lots of other veggies for making salads or dinners throughout the week. So moving on to the top shelf, some items up here that we love. Um, we love these yogurts from Siggy's. This is their plant-based coconut blend yogurt and I love it because it has 10 grams of protein. So I love these, the kids love these. Another kind of convenience item that the kids really love are these once upon a farm pouches. Um, the kids love these and I love that they have no added sugar, they're organic, they're essentially just a smoothie with fruits and veggies. So these are really great, um, we love them. Another item here on our top shelf are berries. My kids absolutely love berries, um, so we always have some raspberries, blueberries if they're in season and they're ripe, um, strawberries, we go through a lot of berries. We also go through a lot of hummus. The whole family loves hummus. Um, one of my kids' favorite lunches is hummus tortilla roll-ups or wraps. They also just love to eat hummus by the spoonful. And I love hummus, I love it as a snack, I love it in a wrap as well. So we go through a lot of hummus every week. Um, let's see, put this down so I can grab a few more things. This is um, coconut cream or coconut milk from a can, which sometimes I like to add into um, like a morning matcha latte or um, into a smoothie, just makes it a little bit more creamy. Some other items up here that we have, um, we have two different salsas, a green salsa, a red salsa. We use salsa a lot, but I'm gonna pull this item out so that you can see. So this is sauerkraut. Um, I love sauerkraut. I add a little bit on top of a salad or if we're making um, like a bean, rice, and veggie bowl, but sauerkraut, it um, has a lot of great health benefits. It contains probiotics, um, so it's really good for supporting immune health. And so this is the big, big jar of sauerkraut. Some other sort of random things that we have along the top that are kind of part of our routine. Um, my kids like to have a snack before bed, and so what we make them is just basically some overnight oats. Um, this is oats with some chia seeds and some almond milk, and then we'll add in some frozen wild blueberries, and they will actually share this. They usually eat it in the bathtub. Um, they will share this before bedtime. 
and um, my son also likes to have a little milk when he wakes up from his nap and so this is the ripple milk um, and so this is what I bring up to him when I go to get him out of his crib and then we sit in the rocking chair and he has his little glass of milk um, just some um, other items that we use throughout the week for recipes um, we have some olives, we have some pumpkin puree. These are really fun to put on top, kind of like a saver to put on top of your can. Um, I will link these below in the video description box. So we do eat predominantly plant-based, but we do include a few things throughout the week in our diet. We usually eat salmon about once a week. Um, we also eat eggs a couple times a week, or we may use them in a recipe if we're making muffins. So we do have some eggs. Um, my kids love fruit. So we have, they eat a lot of fruit, we have a lot of fruit. I would say some of their staples are apples and oranges and bananas, of course berries, which I already mentioned. Um, we also love lemons. We use them in hot lemon water, adding them into smoothies or making homemade salad dressing. So this is our veggie drawer. We have lots of veggies, um, but more in this drawer. Um, we have green beans. We typically like to make green beans on our salmon night. We have some Brussels sprouts, bell pepper, which um, my son loves, but I also love as well. Lots of cucumber and um, two different type of carrots. We have a bag here of these carrot chips, and then we just have traditional, it's very loud, <laughs> but we can do that for you. traditional um, whole carrots as well. So moving along to the bottom drawer here is where we keep our bread and our tortillas. Um, this is the bread that my kids enjoy. It's just a whole wheat sandwich bread, organic from Whole Foods Market. It's their 365 line. So my kids love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They also just love a piece of toast with some butter. Um, I also have some gluten-free bread here. Um, this is the brand, brand Little Northern Bakehouse. Once in a while, if I'm in the mood for bread, um, because I do eat gluten-free, this is the bread that I will have. And then we go through a lot of tortillas because we like to make veggie wraps, hummus wraps. The kids love hummus and tortilla wraps. So we have a variety of different, um, a lot of different tortilla options. So let me share them with you. Um, this is a chickpea flour from Siete. We also usually have their almond flour tortillas. These are some, there's only I think one of these left, um, brown rice tortillas from Food for Life. We have some traditional whole wheat tortillas, some flour tortillas, and also some corn tortillas. So whatever you're in the mood for, we have lots of tortillas. Um, and then we do eat dairy-free as a family. So we have a couple dairy-free cheeses down here. This is a feta, a dairy-free feta, and this is um, some um, like mozzarella shreds from Dea if we make the kids a, um, like a quesadilla or something like that. So moving over to the door, I've actually shared a video where I share some of my favorite condiments. So some of these items I've already mentioned before. So I will link that video below in the video description box to see my 10 favorite healthy condiment options. But just a few I'll mention today um, for milk. My go-to non-dairy milk is usually almond milk. This is the unsweetened almond milk from Whole Foods 365. The kids also drink um, this milk from Ripple, and I love it as a milk alternative if you're dairy-free because it has protein, it has calcium, it has omega-3s, um, so it's just a good swap if you're not drinking like a traditional cow's milk, but you want something dairy-free. So this is what the kids have. And then some other things in here, this is some decaf coffee. Um, I, I'm trying to drink less caffeine, less coffee. It's better for, for me for many reasons. Um, and then also down here we have, um, this is the butter that we use. It is a dairy-free butter from Earth Balance. Um, if the kids want butter on their toast, this is what we do. Um, and then we have just some other items down here, some tahini, which we'll use to make salad dressings. Um, and we have some apple cider vinegar. And then, let me see if I can this have to share with you. We also have some aloe vera juice, which is what I, I drink a little bit each day. Um, it's supposed to be um, anti-inflammatory, so um, it's good for skin health. So this is something that I've been drinking a little bit each day. More condiments. Oh, okay, let's talk about chocolate up here. So you may notice all these chocolate bars. So my husband is obsessed with dark chocolate and he eats dark chocolate every single day and we have so many because whenever they are on sale, he stocks up and buys a bunch of them um, because he ha likes to have a little bit each day. And I love dark chocolate as well, but he's like every day he has his dark chocolate. Um, and I know you're technically not supposed to keep your chocolate in the fridge. It's better if it's like room temperature, but this is just what we do and we've done it forever. So chocolate, we have some chocolate chips up in there as well. And then on this 
this side if there's anything else to share with you maybe this will be like another video because we have lots of different um, supplements in here probiotic that I take we have some um, elderberry I believe this is the Seattle elderberry brand um, the vitamin D that I take I do like a liquid vitamin D from designs for health we have some of our seeds down here, flax seeds, chia seeds, and hemp seeds, which I do recommend keeping your seeds in the refrigerator to um, prolong their shelf life because seeds and nuts can easily go rancid from light and heat, so keep them in your refrigerator. Um, some other, other just kind of random things that end up on the door of your refrigerator. We have some plant-based food coloring, which we probably only use a couple times a year. Um, we have some papers if we're making like a Caesar salad, some curry pastes up here, a red and a yellow curry paste. So that's kind of what's in my fridge. I don't know if I've forgot to mention anything, but if you see something that you have a question about, you can let me know in the comments below and I can chat with you more there. But that is just a quick little tour of what's in my refrigerator. Well, that's it for today's video. And I would love to know what are five staple items that are always in your refrigerator. Share with me in the comments below. If you loved today's video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, and also our blog. I'll put links for all of that below in the video description box. Hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.